Okay. Now let me share my screen. And not my screen, my, my uh, PowerPoint. Okay, welcome to our uh, formal lesson. Okay. About IC3 module B key application. So the first is uh, the difference of apps and applications. Uh, my objective is to describe the difference between apps and applications, identify various types of application software and the tasks of which they are suited. So this apps and application should identify or later on we're going to identify uh, what is the task that each of these uh, are suited to. Okay, understand the, uh, the use of web apps. App Store, browse and find apps, install, delete and recover, describe the strengths and weaknesses of apps and application. And at the end of this, uh, we'll have a question and answer uh, sort of a practice, okay, to some of the questions here. Just a review questions. Okay, let's start. Understanding apps and applications. So we have applications and we have apps. Let's, let me read first this and uh, once I discuss, it's just going to be like connected to each other. Applications are complex programs designed to be used with the mouse and keyboard. Apps are small and lightweight. They are designed to be used on touch screen devices. Okay, so one is designed to use a mouse and a keyboard. One is designed to use a touch screen device. Anyway, applications are programs, um, softwares, okay? We call it software, of course. We have hardware and software, you know that. Um, it's just that this term was coined maybe 10 to 15 years ago uh, when we started to develop smartphones. Okay, so of course, like uh, it was developed also that they are using different applications on the mobile phone, installing that there and so on and so forth. And later on, a lot of people try to develop apps and so on. But of course, those times, those software developer, developer, uh, they just called it apps because it's for a small screen, a uh, small phone, mobile device, so they just make it uh, smaller and easier to um, easier to mention, easier to say. Anyway, there's actually no really difference of this because an application is a program or software that does a particular task. It's just that in desktop or laptop, and we're going to go to the difference, is that desktop and laptop has bigger capacity. When you say bigger capacity, uh, it has bigger hard drive, um, faster RAM, and faster processor than your mobile apps. Okay, mobile apps or mobile apps, sorry, mobile devices, smartphones have screen, touch screen, uh, smaller capacity in hard drive and or your storage as you call it there is storage and so on okay so that's why there's the difference uh, you you can install a complex program desktop and laptop while on a mobile or smartphone you cannot do that you just can only focus on one task or small task that that app will do so that it will not have a very big problem on your uh, smartphone or processor, okay? It cannot handle um, unless, no, even even as a time or uh, even if this are being developed right now, you have iPhone 11 or whatever uh, source and uh, storage increased, okay, the capacity, the platform or the iOS also have to be more complex because of the different development on the different programs, the updates, the upgrades, 
So that's the thing. Even if you increase the capacity of that, the newer the version, still you really need to do an app, which is like a very, very limited capacity. Okay, having said that, uh, application is those um, those software that is on your desktop. You installed it there. Apps is on your smartphone, tablets, and so on. Okay, so an application programs, as we said, are suited to different types of tasks. It is important to select the appropriate software program for the task at hand. Okay, so let's let, let they they shared some features. I mean, like for example, Microsoft Word can do also something from uh, or even X uh, PowerPoint. Uh, or web based, so let, let, let's say web development or web design. Okay, uh, web based and web development. Okay, let me pause a little bit uh, because I'm being disturbed by one very important call. So I'll stop recording and I'll continue later on.